So ladies and gentlemen, what I want to do today is show you how to find the zeros, the multiplicity, and also the, uh, da, 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 what the end behavior, right? So the first thing, let's just look at the end behavior. That's, I think, the easiest way to start. When looking at the end behavior, we're going to be looking at doing the leading coefficient test. To look at that, we need to look at the leading coefficient and the degree. It's helpful to write that out. So my degree in this problem is equal to 2, right? That's the highest degree or highest exponent of my polynomial. Then the leading coefficient is equal to 1 third. So if you guys remember in your notes, we talked about when you have an even degree, it's either going to rise left, rise right, or fall left and fall right. And that all determines, it all depends on if your leading coefficient is positive or negative. It's positive, so by the leading coefficient test, it's going to rise left and rise right. And behavior, out of the way, right? So we can't understand the multiplicity until we actually find the zeros. So to find the zeros, right, remember the zeros are going to be the same thing as our x-intercepts, meaning our output value is going to be equal to zero. So now what I need to do is I need to solve for x. So we talked about our ways that we could solve for x, ladies and gentlemen, right? You could look at quadratic form. This is the quadratic, so you could do quadratic formula on your homework. You could have done completing the square, Jacob. Um, or also, we could look at factoring. And I'm going to look at factoring practice for this one. You can also you know, look at graphing as well. So first of all, I see these fractions, and I really, really do not like dealing with fractions. All right? I really want to get these out of there. So to get rid of these fractions, there's a couple things you could do. You could factor out a one-third out of all these. Or you could also multiply everything times 3. Whatever way you really want to look at it. If I multiply the, the left side by 3 and everything on the right side by 3, I'm just left with 0 equals x squared plus x minus 2. See how I got rid of the fractions? I mean, you can still do the work with the fractions, but why have to do all that necessary work if you can just get rid of them? All right. Also, you can factor out the one third, and it would be the same answer. So now I look at this and say, all right, can I factor this? Is there two numbers that multiply to give me negative two, yeah. but then add give me negative or add give me positive one? And you're right. Yes, it's zero equals x. Uh, let's see, minus one and x plus two. Now to look at determine multiplicity, we have our factors, right? Remember, when our factors, we look at the exponent of our factor. If the exponent of our factor is 1, we have a multiplicity of 1. If it was 2, it'd be at a multiplicity of 2. Correct? So we notice that these both have an exponent of 1. So uh, you can say, well, let's get to let's get to our zeros first. So now how do you finish solving this? The next thing you gotta do is set each of them equal to 0 by the zero product property. Right? Remember we talked about whenever you have the product equals zero. One of them has to equal zero. We talked about that, those in your notes. So now we have this, and we can determine that x is going to equal 1 and negative 2 with a multiplicity with a multiplicity 1. And why is it important to understand that multiplicity, right? Multiplicity 1 is going to tell us that they're going to cross at these zeros. Right? Remember, if it was multiplicity even, it touches and it kind of rebounds. Multiplicity 1 tell us that these zeros, when we're going to look into graphing, it crosses at these two zeros. That's why it's really important to understand the multiplicity. Yeah, I know it's multiplicity 1 again. The exponent of your factor. Okay. You don't need to write the exponent 1, but you can see it. Okay. Okay, cool. Questions? No? Does that kind of make a little bit more sense?